Hey, what's up, guys? Bashiri here. It's about uh, 8.30 my time, which means uh, it's stream time. I was able to get my workout and some of the things I wanted to do today done a little bit on the earlier side, earlier respective to yesterday. So I'm going to go ahead and start the live stream here in a second. But um, pretty much as soon as this video goes live, I will have already probably started live streaming. But I do want to talk to you just for a second, just before that, before I actually head out to start the live stream. So if you see this announcement and you want to go immediately over to the live stream, um, just click, give this video a quick thumbs up and come back and watch it later. But if you want to hang out for a couple minutes and just hear what's going on today, feel free to stick around. So, yeah, today was a good day. Um, probably the most prominent thing is I got some more work done on the Badge Quick Week video. It's coming together nicely. I still need to, I still need to have it edited a little bit more to the music, and of course through the commentary as well. But I got the clips edited together nicely, and it's looking good so far. I think I got enough clips to make a a pretty enjoyable Badge Quick Week. Um, video, even though oftentimes it's the commentary that really makes the video. Personally, it's easier for me to edit a edit a video and get into a video that has number one good music, which I do have. I just have to figure out what I want to use, um, and two good gameplay. So I'm pretty bad at, at the rogue. I haven't played her in a long time, but um, luckily enough, I did get a couple good clips in there, which is always enjoyable. I think as I as I level the rogue up a little bit more, as quickly gains some levels and gains some more abilities. I'll be able to pull off some more of those clutch rogue moves that I've always sort of seen in Mercator videos and things like that, that in five shot videos. I haven't seen a five shot video in a long time, but anyway, um, some of their some of their epic BG clips. Uh, try to try to do some of those neat moves and neat editing style and stuff like that. Um, I don't think we're gonna have that one up down uh, on, or the, I don't think we're gonna have that effect this particular video. Pretty much all I've got is uh, maybe like a sap and a cheap shot and a gouge to control three people at one time, but I don't think I ever did that. But that's about the extent of my options at this point, but um, whatever. I'll keep playing Bash Quickly slowly and surely, and we'll get her some uh, some more levels and get her some uh, some better clips in the future. But I'm really excited about this new Bash Quickly video. I'm not sure when it's going to be out. I keep putting in a little bit of work on it every day, but you know I want to be sure to release like a daily video for you. Like even if it's just battlegrounds from the stream or something like that, it's still fun for me to get a video out for you while I'm doing whatever it is that I do for the rest of the day and. What I did today was edit the Badge Quickly video a little bit, and um, of course go to the gym. Uh, one of the interesting things about the gym is that, well, it's an interesting thing about the gym and just about um, like my the way things are going right now in general is that. So my family has a has a car on lease that I've been able to use um, since uh, they moved to California because my sister wasn't in school at that time. So now what's happening is that my sister is going to be living off campus when she goes to college, and they're going to give her the car. I know, if you guys have little sisters, you know how that goes. You know, every, your little sister gets everything. But, um, so yeah, here, my mom's going to come in tomorrow. Well, yeah, we got to pick up tomorrow with my sister. So they're going to hang out here for a little while. And then they're going to take her off to school. So it's going to be interesting to see what life is like without a car right now. Because there's two things about a car. Of course, you know, renting or le leasing a car costs a good deal of money, right? And then of course there's a car insurance on top of that. And I don't I mean we're doing Jenny and I we're doing we're doing well on finances right now. We're definitely not hurting. But um I don't think we can really afford a car plus car insurance right now. So we might be uh we might be having to live the close life. Luckily, very luckily, everything that we sort of really really need is pretty close by. Um and of course, in the age of the internet, if we ever want to get like clothes and stuff, I guess we can order most things offline. But there's a grocery store within walking distance. The gym is within walking distance, and there's a little vet clinic really close by as well, within walking distance. So, like all the things that we could like really, really need are close by enough that we can walk there. And so today, for example, we decided to test out walking to the gym. I know, I mean, it, it makes sense, right? You go get warmed up, get a little bit of cardio done in the beginning, even though it's just like walking right now. Maybe we'll run later. But today we just wanted to see what it felt like to walk, and it was nice. I liked it. Um, it was a good feeling to just you know, go ahead and get warmed up on the way to the gym. But it's going to definitely be interesting to see what it's like the next couple months, probably not having a car. We might be able to work out the finances well enough to get one, but um, with some of the upcoming things that we're thinking about, potentially uh, a move in the relatively near future, that's sort of shady. Not, not, not necessarily shady, but sort of iffy. It haven't, hasn't really come together yet, but... Maybe maybe moving in the future. I don't know if we want to get a car right now, but that's one of the things I'm thinking about. Since this is one of those sit-down vlogs where I just 
end up talking about whatever it is that I feel like talking about. That's one of the things that's on my mind, this whole not having a car thing. So we're going to be walking to the gym, walking to the grocery store, which is probably the, uh, definitely the closest thing to us is the grocery store, aside from the vet. The vet's actually closer than the grocery store. But anyway, the grocery store is no problem. We can walk there and grab what we need and walk on back home. But it's going to be interesting. I mean, if nothing else, I'll get more exercise. But if it's rainy, it's going to suck. <laughs> but hopefully, it hasn't been raining that much this summer in Nashville, so... Hopefully uh, the weather will continue to be good and we won't have to get caught out in the rain when we're trying to go to the gym or to the, uh, the grocery store. And hopefully we won't have to go to the vet at all. Hopefully the kiddies just stay as happy and healthy as they've been since we got them. So that would be great. But yeah, guys, things are going well. Um, we are going to be going on a, another vacation in like a week and a half or something like that, but you don't have to worry about that right now. I'm just trying to think if there's anything I need to tell you. Um, I guess I can do a follow-up on that 50K montage. First of all, I need to thank you guys so much for your for your support. Um, definitely huge thanks to Swifty and Elemental QT and whoever else has been, you know, giving me shout-outs on their channel and whatnot. Uh, I always appreciate that. And throughout the entire span of my YouTube, you know, project, a lot of people have been very, very helpful, and I appreciate all of that. And, of course, thanks to you guys. I mean, people bring in traffic. That's cool. People... People let you know about my channel that you may not have known about it before, but it's actually you guys who decide to watch the videos. It's you guys who decide to subscribe. It's you guys who decide to like the videos and give all the amazing support that you give, and that matters. So as big of a help as shoutouts are, as you know, doing collaborations is. I mean, it is up to you guys to subscribe. So I love that people, you know, that, that we're gaming together with people who I've always looked up to, like Swifty and stuff, and that's amazing. That's like a dream come true for a little WoW gamer like myself. But, I mean, it is up to you guys to actually subscribe and actually watch the videos and, and give the videos thumbs ups and stuff. And that's what you've been doing, and it's amazing. So thank you so much for that. And um, in that 50k montage, I talked about working with Dara McTire and Excel of PvP. And part of the deal with that is, uh, they give me like a little referral link. So if you guys want to go subscribe to the Next Level PvP website, I mean they've got all kinds of neat little like tutorial, like there's um like class tutorials, there's specific comp tutorials, there's macros guides. So if you guys want to find out my macros, you can go to like you know Bajira add-ons on YouTube, or I mean Bajira like add-ons and macros on YouTube. But I'm not the only one who who plays a warrior. Let alone I don't know anything about other classes. So that'd be a great resource if you're looking to find out macros about a class that you were curious about trying, or maybe you just hit level 85 and you're ready to go PvP, but you don't know any macros or anything. Next level PvP is a great place for you to go. Check that out. It's an excellent resource. And of course, since I work for them now, I recommend them. <laughs> so you can check out my referral link. And uh, if you use that referral link, then it lets them know that I brought you to the website, which is awesome. And of course, if you subscribe to their website, which is, I believe, three or four dollars a month, if if that. Um, I get like two bucks out of that, so, I mean, if you're looking to donate a very small amount of money, like four bucks, if you just wanted to donate like five bucks or two bucks to me or something like that, I guess you might as well donate it through subscribing to Next Level PvP, so that at least you get something out of your donation, if you're only going to donate like, you know, five bucks to me. I guess I end up getting two bucks of it, but at least you get some excellent PvP knowledge bank to to access and learn from and just enjoy cool videos from of course but yeah so that's cool um and the thing about working with Dara McTyre more uh, I'm not really sure how I'm going to approach the guild thing um I do like Kel'Thuzad a lot but I may end up bringing like a different warrior over like I may end up bringing my Kel'Thuzad warrior over to Dark Sphere have one of them sit in Dara McTyre one of them stay in Bajira's army or I mean I, I, I guess I could have my my main Bajira leave Bajira's army and have like Baj Kwikwi or something be the guild leader or pass it to Jenny. But I like I kinda like being in that guild. I, I really like to be able to interact with you guys and just um whenever I'm looking to do BGs, be like, hey, two DPS, two healers, who wants to go along to BGs? And then we get to pick people out of the, the Bajira's army guild and I really enjoy that. So we have options, but the main point of me working with Dara McTyre more and maybe even having a warrior sit in that guild and be involved in that guild more is that you have absolutely nothing to worry about. If I want to do BGs still, I'll probably still come and, you know, ask anybody in the guild. You'll be able to interact with me just as much through the stream. I mean, me, if, if for some reason I wasn't, had a, or I didn't have an active character in that guild when I'm online or something, you don't have to worry about it. I'm still going to be involved with you guys just as much as I always have been. And, I mean, I don't want you to freak out about these sorts of things because they're really, they're changes, but they're really not 
changes that affect anything very much. Um, on your end, for me, I mean, I get to work with people who I've always looked up to and even worked with before. I mean, I was in Dara McTire when it really started hitting its heyday, and I was so, so proud and so happy to see what we were able to do. And it was a blast, and I'm excited to see some people coming back to Dara McTire, deciding to be more active in it. And I want to be part of that, too. I, I approached Doug, and I was like, man, what can I do? I'm ready to come back. And he's like, all right, let's do it. So here we go. This is the start of something good that um, is a familiar thing, but uh, in a different sort of light, a different sort of way, after the the exodus to, to Star Wars, which is now going free to play. So it didn't that wasn't quite a, uh, as successful of a move as some people might have hoped, but I mean, if it brings people back to WoW, if it means I get to play with some of my old friends again, I mean, all right, you know, sorry that that game didn't go so well, but at least we can move forward from then. But yep, so things are going really well. I wouldn't, I mean, some of these changes, they might sound scary, but they're nothing to worry about, guys. And my involvement with Next Level PvP, as I said in that one video, I'm just going to be making some montages, you know, going to be promoting them in certain types of videos, but... I mean, all that means for you is just more arena montages or something like that. Um, you might even see me playing in higher rated arena matches. You might see me play with um, some maybe lesser known names in the WoW community, but very, very skilled PvPers. So, I mean, you'll be meeting more people, seeing more arena, and I don't, I mean, I don't see anything wrong with that, right? More montages, better games, better players. Let's do it. I mean, th th that being said, of course. I still want to play with my friends who I've always played with. I mean, that's nothing to knock on them, but I mean, like, I mean, Next Level PvP has a lot of, like, rank one gladiators who might want to, you know, play with me to either get some exposure or just have some fun. I mean, I'm up for that. People have, like I was saying in the very beginning of this vlog, there have been so many people who have really helped me out in terms of doing collaborations or giving me shout outs. And I think the best way for me to sort of pay that, it's, it's not like a debt, but the best thing for me to do after getting those shoutouts, after getting that help, you see the little babies running around? I think the best thing for me to do in light of those shoutouts and getting that help is to pay it forward to people who also want to be on YouTube, who also want to make videos and have excellent videos, awesome skills, but just not really like the, the, the recognition that, I mean, it's, it's not always easy to have your videos be seen because YouTube is such a huge thing. The WoW community is growing, it is active, and I, and I think that it's on the way up again. Um, Cataclysm was a bit of a, a bit of a blow, I feel like, especially with the PvP community. It's just hard to take PvP seriously right now. Maybe with the onset of Mist of Pandaria, things will get a little bit better, and I'm excited about being part of that. I've always been, uh, you know, happy member of the WoW community. Always been excited to promote the game, the players, but um, if uh, if other people are excited or as excited as I am, it makes it a lot easier. And I think that there are a lot of people who are just as excited as I am if not more, in excellent PvP and Dora McTire. So I'm looking forward to working with these guys. And um, everything's looking really good. And everything's going to be just fine on on uh, on your you, the viewers, and everything's going to be just fine. It's going to keep making the videos I've always made and, you know, expanding. It's going to be the same channel that you're used to. Um, people ask me, it's like, you know, I feel like 50K is a huge number. Like, that's a pretty, like, when I think about it, I'm like, wow, that's that's up there right now. But at the same time, I mean, like, I don't think I'm going to really change much in terms of what I'm doing. I'm going to continue to make the videos that I enjoy, um, share the fun that I have with gaming with you. I mean, even if it's in Minecraft, something like that, I'm just not really, I'm not going to hold back from posting videos that, you know, are a little bit new or a little bit, I mean, Minecraft has been around for a long time. It's not like a cutting edge game or anything, but if I'm just getting into it and having some fun with it, I might as well post some videos, right? So that's what I'm doing. Um, it's going to be the same channel that you guys have helped create, the same channel that you've always loved, and, uh, I'm really excited to see. I mean, I, I just, I, I realize that I keep saying, you know, I'm excited, but that's just, this is a good time. It's a good time to, to be part of this community. I mean, we've been working on this for a long time, and it is really, really soaring right now. We all knew that we could do this, um, but it's really great to see it actually happening. So thank you all so much. I, I mean, I've been talking for, I don't, I don't know, almost 15 minutes now, so I should probably get, get back to the stream. I think so. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. Hopefully that these uh, these new uh, aspects to what we're going to be doing come as um, as good news to you. Hopefully 
they excite you more than make you sort of be like, ooh, I don't know about this, I don't like change. Everything's going to be just fine, don't worry, okay? So I'm going to get to the live stream. Please come hang out at twitch.tv slash Thank you so much for your continued support, and I'll see you guys later. Peace!